Hey guys, my name is Russell and I make videos about iRacing here on YouTube. We are back for another GT3 Challenge Fix Series track guide. It's week 7 of Season 2. We are here at the fabulous Road America, one of my all-time favourites. Uh, it's really early morning racing here, so the track temperatures are pretty good. Um, my example lap was done in 22 degrees. Um, Obviously, it's fixed up, so I haven't been able to change anything other than the brake bias. I've knocked it back towards the rear wheels, one click, um, so it it registers as just under 50%. It was the fourth full lap of um, the stint from full fuel, um, so it's a pretty heavy tank. Uh, but I'm quite pleased with the time. I think it's it turned out really well. It's going to be great racing here this week. We're going to do the usual thing. I'll do my in-car lap. And then I'll break it down as I see each corner. Uh, and this really works um, for the fixed setup. Less so if you're going to do your own setup. Uh, mainly because the gear ratio would be slightly different. Anyway guys, best of luck here. If you like the guide, please do give it a like. If you haven't subscribed already, please do that. Uh, and let us know how you're getting on in the comments below. It's really, really good to hear. You know, uh, is this guide useful? How are you getting on with your racing? Um, and if I don't see you before in my next video hopefully i'll see you out there on the track this week cheers guys Okay guys, here's my full breakdown of my 2 minutes, 4 seconds, 0.77 here at Road America. Uh, we've got um, 22 degree track temperature and we're on our fourth full lap from uh, full fuel, full race fuel. So on the left here, we are braking between the four and the three cone um much closer to the three cone but still a little bit before hot of the track the slightly earlier you want to break here so we're coming into the brakes you know good car length um, before the three cone here and we want to get ourselves down into third and we want to keep an eye on the inside curb because we want to ride a good portion of it so we're down to third, we're now coming out of the brakes, we're turning in gradually, we're right on the inside curb, and we're starting our acceleration relatively early, you know, on the first half of the curb. But we're going to start it relatively light and build it up gradually. 
so we don't want to push understeer into the car because it's very easy to run out of track on exit there now we're looking to the two board and just as we're hitting the line we're going to start our braking we're going to come down to second we're not going to rush down into second to so an over engine brake here but we're going to take it much like turn one if anything a little bit more cautious because there's a lip on the edge of the curb and if we take that lip it's going to turn the car it dips down onto the grass and you can very easily lose the car here so again you know we're taking a good portion of the curb we're starting our accelerator on the first half of the curb again we're going to build it up nice and gradually it's very easy to pick up a cheeky little off track here on exit right at this point now i was fine here but another kind of inch over to the left and i would have definitely picked up an off track we really really want to carry up as much speed as we can uh through that corner because uh, we've got such a long piece of straight here that we just want to make sure that we're as early on the gas as we can be so we're just going to keep the car over to the right here uh, this it's not quite long enough to make it up to sixth gear and the way i like to take this corner is i dip into first for a small period we're going to break about halfway between the three and the two um, boards on the right there we have to be slightly careful because whatever this is on the right it's not concrete i think it's like loose gravel so if you actually have a wheel on there while you're braking because we are kind of braking slightly out to the right hand side of the track here we want to pick up the curb um, ahead of us just be careful you don't catch a wheel here it's so easily done so we're on the curb we're down to second we're down to first now just before the track changes um we are gonna cut in to the inside curb now we've left our change down to first gear right up until this point we don't want to over slow the car but then as soon as we're on the curb we're back into the accelerator gradually look we're, we're at 50 60 70 percent and we're going to short shift up in second and it's going to really help us with our traction now we're looking at the red boards on the right hand side these advertisement boards just as we pass in the last one we're going to start braking we're not going to brake too heavily here we're on, we're approaching the brow of a hill if we hold the brake heavily as we go over that brow we're going to lock up uh, but what we want to do is brake relatively lightly but hold that light brake as we're turning into the corner just to keep scrubbing a bit more speed so we're holding we're holding now we're coming out and then as we're hitting the curb we're getting on the gas nice and gradually throwing ourselves over to the left now we've got a very fast right and we've got this little x in front of us of tire marks and what i want to do is once we're past that once the car's cleared it that's where i think about turning in and the best way to get the car to turn in here and other corners like this um it's just to dip out of the accelerator slightly and then immediately start our turn in so we're out of the gas we're turning the wheel now we want to pick up really tight to the curb and then as you know we can feel the car drawing into the curb we're comfortable that we're making the corner that's when we start to gradually start building the accelerator again and we've got all of this exit to play with now we're looking over to the right at the boards Bet between the three and the two sort of about halfway between we want to break really quite heavily now we're breaking downhill so we need to break a little bit firmer than we think again it's quite easy to dip a wheel on the grass here and and turn the car around so we just need to be a little bit careful but it takes a little bit longer to break here than you think so just bear that in mind we're going to come down to second and we're going to hold really firm on the brakes we're going to hold are trail braking quite harshly here see we were still up past 10 12 percent as we were about to hit the curb and then 
once we're down we're back on the gas as soon as we hit the curb really gradually you got to play careful with the accelerator around here so you need to get the car over to the left here because we're pushing to carry as much speed around the carousel here as we can and it's very easy for it all to come undone so if we push out to the left here and then pull in tight to the right we can carry a good bit of speed uh, and I like to take my foot off the gas just when I see this little kink approaching in the white line on the right that's my signal to to get off the gas it's quite a deceptive corner so you can end up pushing yourself out very very wide here and getting into all kinds of trouble so you've got to be patient you've got to be um wary here so i give the accelerator a little prod about midway i want to come out a little bit wider i'm not totally tight to the right but then as the uh, armco on the right hand side is starting to come to an end I'm going to gradually build up on the accelerator very steadily here. Now I got myself a little bit close to the white line. I was a little bit ahead of myself. So I do have to come out of the gas very briefly to stop myself from tripping up on the grass. Um, but it didn't hurt me too much. But ultimately what we want to do is make sure we're pulling ourselves nice and tight to this curb here. So it's a game of patience really, not getting onto the gas too early. So the kink is a bit deadly. We're up to fifth. Now, the way I like to play the kink is as soon as we hit the one board in this white line here, I'm going to toss the car in. I'm going to come out the gas to about 50, 60 percent. And then as the car's pulling in, drifting in tight to the inside curb, which we want to be right on, then I, I, as soon as I'm comfortable that we're, we're drawing in nice and tight to that curb. I'm back on the accelerator. So we're down to 50 and then we're building up again. And we've got a deceptively large amount of overtrack to play with here, which is quite nice. You can use it um, to its full extent. It's just a case of building up the confidence. So we're, we're making this as straight as we can. Uh, and we want to be right over to the left of the track here as we start picking up these boards. And we're going to break between the four and the three. About halfway between the, between the two. And we're going to get ourselves all the way down to second. It's a heavy braking zone. It's quite a popular overtaking place here. Um, it's quite a popular accident place as well, to be honest. Uh, so we're down to second. And then just as the track's starting to, uh, the track surface changes, or it's, it's coming up to changing, we're throwing the car in, in second gear. And then we're early, early on the accelerator. But again, nice and gradual. We're hovering at 80% there for quite a long time. Very, very easy to understeer in the default setup. So we're on the right right on the curb just as the curb's coming to an end we're going to drop out of the gas and we're going to turn in much like all the other fast turns here we're coming out of the gas we're tossing the car in and then as we know as we feel the car drawing towards the inside curb we're going to ramp up that accelerator and there we go now we need to move quite quickly over to the other side and then just as this line hits us just before the change in the tarmac again, we're going to start braking. We're going to come down to second, but we're not going to rush down through these gears. We're going to take our time a little bit here. And then just as we come up to this last white line uh, before the end of the curb, we're going to gradually turn the car in and fade out of the brake. Um, th this last corner like a couple of other corners here, it's really easy to overshoot on exit and find yourself on the grass. So you need to be patient. Uh, the back end can get quite loose on this corner. Um, so patience on the accelerator on exit, it really is. Again, here we go. I'm up to 70, 80% on the accelerator as we're hitting the curb. 
and I don't start building it up until the car's nice and settled and I'm confident I'm going to make this exit. And now it's just a drag race to the line. It's an important one to, to carry as much speed through as you can. Um, it's quite unforgiving. So that is my uh, two minute, four seconds, 0.77 here at Road America uh, in the default setup, uh, 22 degrees. And I think it was my fourth lap from fourth or fifth lap from full fuel. So uh, I hope you guys found this useful. Uh, if, it, if it was useful, please do give the video a like. Please do subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, let us know um, if it's been useful in the comments below. Let us know how you're getting on with your racing, how you're getting on with your practice. Uh, have a really good week here, guys. And if I don't see you before my next video, hopefully I'll see you out there on the track this week. Cheers.